Well, one man making a run for state representative says all he wants to do is fight for the people in his district. But yesterday morning, TBI agents showed up to his home with a search warrant. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis explains how he believes this was all politically motivated and his opponent may be involved. It was something that should, never should have happened. I want to go through with no, my she's wife. Fine. It was a rude awakening for Jeremy Hayes after TBI agents showed up to his hermitage home with a search warrant. Hayes is running for state representative and believes the raid was politically motivated. They threw me to the ground. Uh, our child who turned 11 months old yesterday was crying. Um, it, it was. There's something as a father you, you never want to experience. TBI agents received a search warrant at the request of District Attorney General Tommy Thompson. General Thompson says his office received credible information that Hayes may not live in the district for which he is running for office, but Hayes says that's just not true. He's been helping his grandmother, who's battling stage four kidney failure in Mount Juliet. I'm a resident here. I've been here for almost a year. Hayes tells us TBI agents had a warrant to search his hermitage home, but they did not have a warrant to search the home of his 78 year old grandmother. Anytime you see um, a state agency weaponized for political purposes, it, no matter what side you're on, left, right, liberal, conservative, moderate, this should be terrifying for everyone because if they can do this to our campaign, they can do this to absolutely anyone for any reason. General Thompson denies these claims and says when credible information is reported, it is their job to investigate. Hayes says this will not stop his campaign. In fact, it refuels it. This is our home. Uh, we're going to do whatever we can to defend our home and defend the people of our districts. Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Kimberly, thank you. Just this afternoon, Hayes' opponent, Representative Susan Lynn, confirms that she did contact the Tennessee Coordinator of Elections to report Hayes. She went on to say that everyone knows Jeremy Hayes does not live in Wilson County.